Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I will be playing Jupiter's Tower of Hell. Or Duke's Tower of Hell now, I guess. And I'm in Ring 3. This is my second time in Ring 3, so I might be doing one or two towers. Oh yes, I also unlocked the Room of Absolute Garbage by um, flat wall clipping through uh, the wall. So if we go to towers right here, we can just head on over here, up here, and then across. As you can see, I've done one, two, three, four of these towers. And today, I'll be showing you Tower of Funny Thoughts and Tower of Inverted Colors. Let's go! First, Funny Thoughts. So we head over here on this blueness and up. Oh, I need to turn that off. It's horrible. All right, so we head up here all the way up and then across this part up onto these uh, squares and we're already onto the next floor. Can you believe that? So now we just jump over these small thingamabobs and up there. S hey, these are some wobbly platforms. Oh yes, this is the section with the giant ball thing. So we just head around here. It's a fairly simple maze with a giant ball in it. And then eventually, here, yeah, we'll get out. I think this tower is the hardest easy tower in the game. So, yeah. Um, let's do that. Head across the wall. Some wobbly platforms. And some smaller ones. Now we're inside. Now it looks like you have to do all of that, but actually you can just walk up here. Like that. Then you head up right there and you go outside. Believe me, I've already tried. You can't uh, do one of these things on them. The only one you can do it on is this right there. Now we just head across the top of them. Now we're up here. We head across these one stud. Uh, thingos, then just across this tightrope, more one studs, and then like a snake of boxes or, or whatever they're called. I don't really know what they're called. Now we climb up this. We're already on the fourth floor. Ooh, GG to them. Now this part is very annoying. It is the maze. You just head through here. It's not really much of a maze, it's more of a labyrinth, because you can't really get lost. You just keep on heading uh, forward, I guess. It's really annoying and repetitive and takes forever. Here it just turns right instead, so we're heading back. Keep on going, keep on going. There's a two stud gap. Over here, I believe, is 1.5. Oh my gosh, it's so boring, this tunnel. Now, that's a one stud gap. This one, honestly, just jump over it. It's not that hard. The next two, I believe, you can walk under. Yep. You can just walk under both of them. You can jump over that one. You have to jump over this one as well. And then you're even lower and we have to head back. But this time there's some kill bricks. It's not that hard, honestly. Let's just head over here. Let's just close the chat. As long as you're holding forward or W, it's, 
you'll be alright, I guess, in that part. Now here, we have to jump over these, forward, we can jump straight up there, then it's just these bump things, and then over here, we head to one of the sides, and then up this like stack of blocks, or pyramid of blocks. Then there's a tightrope, um, more blocks, a ladder this time. These do not fall, so you don't have to rush. Go up onto that ladder over here. Now we wait for this spinning platform. Now over here, there's another spinning platform. Who would have guessed? Now a ladder we have to jump onto. And then these things. Now, this is just a kind of a one stud tightrope type thing that you have to jump over and across. You just head up all the way and eventually we're on the next floor. So for this, we just have to hold forward until we're up. Then we can just walk down and over these things. I don't know what to call them. Like a wave of blocks or something. I don't know. Um, let's just keep on heading forward. Now these ones, make sure not to start climbing on them and then jump while climbing because that will sh like shoot you backwards. Um, Let's head up here, over to the next floor. As you can see, we're progressing quite quickly. Now these are just some pretty basic jumps. They don't really need explaining. Now this, you just don't hold forward, just uh, put one arm the way you're going facing into the wall so you don't fall off or walk off now these it's just all right for this you have to walk all the way up well it's not walking but you get what, what I mean you have to climb all the way up then back down and across now here is a tightrope, <laughs> two tightropes actually, <laughs> bam, now we head across here, up, now we're onto a truss, then we do the one stud thickness things, even more, and then another truss, and then these more one studs but like the opposite direction I guess facing then we go through here and climb up this ladder climb up this one jump across into the next floor now we just jump across these Make sure to get as close to the edge of the block as you can, or near the edge of the block, before you jump. Now up, up, all the way up. Now we just climb to the top of this truss, and we're already on the last floor. Can you believe how fast that was? Yeah, I can't either. Now we just head this way. We can skip that one if we want. Over these. To be honest, they do look kind of scary, but... I mean, like... It's fine. Now, these tightrope things... Not too bad, I guess.
Now there's some final letters. Were those the last letters? Yes, I believe so. Now across these one studs. Onto this trampoline and you've won. Bam. Oh, I died there. Next tower. We go across up to the the tower rooms. And then tower of inverted colors. As you can see, the colors of the obstacles are the opposite to the frame color. Now, I think that is pretty cool if I do say so myself. Now we just head up here, climb and across there we go you can just walk across these you don't really have to jump on them there we go and then some wraparounds some two star consecutive wraparounds then some jumps and a ladder now you just head up here even more and then over this way now you zoom in or well, you don't have to but like it helps and then you go on these you can just go on the top ones because they're like easier to see and they're closer to you I guess and then you just do head hitters come over here and then there's this. You gotta just climb up it until you're at the top and you head on to these. Then there's a head hitter right here. You go across, climb up that ladder, and then all the way around the wraparounds. These you can just walk around. And then we're already at the one, two, three, fourth floor. Now here, as you can see, there's a different color block. You can just jump into it because it is cankalide false. That means you can't run into it. Now you just head around this pole thing and, oh, wrong way. You need to kind of do that. And then the next one, you also have to do the same thing. And then we're up to this thing, whatever it is. Like a maze with gaps in it. Yeah, maze with gaps in it is good. So we just do these big gap jumps. And then we're at a tightrope. Actually, yeah, I might zoom in. Then we're up to this bit. Come on. Now we're at the fifth floor. If I, if I am correct, it is the fifth floor. Now we're up to another one of these things. Uh, the climb around the pole till you get to the top. And then there's the spinning, spinning floor it is quite annoying because you have to wait for it to get to there you can just wait here because that goes to it as well uh, but you're meant to get to there so yeah I'll like I might cut out this bit I'm not sure and now we're at the thing so we just jump up jump up again get the, to the top and jump up that ladder now we go through these gaps in the wall and we're up to the next floor the sixth I think or maybe still fifth I'm not quite sure anymore now we've got another one of these spiral spinner staircases and then we go and do a wraparound 
this can be quite confusing but just get to the top of it and you should be fine then you could just jump over the rest of them there's some ladders wraparounds more ladders more wraparounds this game really loves ladders and wraparounds Ooh, I think I hit my head on that one so just be careful um yeah tons of ladders that's kind of a wraparound I guess I don't know now some spinners ooh fun now we just jump across these things and we're up to the um, 10, 9, 8th floor. More wraparounds. This spinny, spoony thing. I really hate these spinny things. They're just annoying. You know what I mean? Especially, especially when you're trying to climb something on a sp when it's spinning. It's really hard. Now for these more wraparounds. Then some of those things. I forgot what they're called. Just floating, floating jumps or whatever. Now these are some trusses. You may be tempted to go to there, but I don't think... Oh, yeah, you probably can. But I'm not going to risk it because I do not want to fall. Now there's some tiny jumps, just like in the last tower. We head across these. Then over here. We need to jump straight on top of these. And then over here. And there's more trusses. And then we're on to the 10th floor. You can go and follow these trusses. Wherever the trusses are. Uh, to get to the top. So, can we jump up there? No. So we go over here. You just find a way up, I guess. And then, from here, we've got one, two, more turns, until the wind break. There's the one and two turns, and there's the wind break up there. And you have one. Alright, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.